So Robert Craven, thanks for joining us. You've just done your keynote speech at the Head of Madrid conference and it was based on the boundaries in travel and technology. Well, kind of yes, kind of no. I think maybe it was really based on what are the gaps? What are the gaps uh, that, that need to be filled? Because I, I think boundaries can be extended. I think boundaries can be overcome. And I know, I know the conference is really about how do we overcome boundaries. So I was being a bit playful going, what boundaries? I'm not sure whether it's about boundaries or whether it's really about what are the gaps that we need to fill. And you mentioned that. So how, how would you see that a typical hotel needs to fill those gaps? First of all, what do you see those gaps as being? Oh. And then how do they fill them? <laughs> Let's just focus on customer service, perhaps. OK, so, so the gaps are absolutely apparent between gaps between what head office based in Toronto think so they are and what the customer actually experiences. The gaps are between what the, the, the management of the hotel, the individual hotel actually thinks is going on and what the customer actually feels. The gaps are between what the actual members of staff, they're, you know, they're the most important people. The, the chambermaid is the one who knows how happy I am or not happy I am. You know, the serving staff are the ones who take the plate away full of food. The bar staff are the ones who hear me whinging on my third drink about the hotel. The gaps between that and what the customer gets. So there's a whole there's a whole piece about the gap between understanding what it feels like to be the customer. And 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 too often we think that, that the customer experience is about an operational thing about what what we as the hotel deliver, rather than let's just turn it on our head and say, as a as a as a member of the public, this is what you sold me, and this is what I'm getting. And actually, you know what? There there's a gap. So your marketing told me it would be five star, deluxe, on tap, glorious, wonderful. And I arrive and it's not. And if there's a gap, then there's a problem. If there's not a gap, then I love you. So this is actually about not only having that brand promise, but, but over consistently over-delivering on it.